To make this announcement, I'd like to invite up a very special guest and a powerful advocate for not only justice reform, but just a good person. And I hear she's starting to study law. She's also one of the most successful people in the entertainment business. Soon she'll be one of the most successful lawyers. I hate to tell all my lawyers back there. <laughs> but I knew, her, I knew her father, and I tell you, she's got good genes, that I can tell you. Good genes for everything. And she's been a real friend, and her husband has been a real friend of mine, Kim Kardashian West. It really is such an honor to be here today, so thank you. Um, my whole journey with criminal justice reform uh, started about a year ago when I came to see the president um, after speaking to Ivanka and Jared, who really um, fought for me to get here. And um, I pled the case of Alice Johnson, who, um, the president granted clemency to. And after that, I really spent so much time uh, going to different prisons because I really had no connection to anybody on the inside and really just felt like for me, I am at the place in my life that I wanted to make a difference and just wanted to do the right thing, but I didn't know how or what to do or even really what was going on. And so after going to visit so many different prisons and really sitting down with lifers, with every situation you can possibly imagine, my heart just completely opened up and I wanted to do more. So I started to study the law, um, which is you know law school basically in California. Um, and my attorneys are here today, Aaron and, and Jessica from um, Cut 50. They, uh, thank you. So the best part of it is I learned so much that I don't even know if, I don't want to speak for anybody in law school, but I learned so much just basically working on memos and being the assistant to them while the First Step Act was happening and f like learning how you get bills passed and working on it from the ground up. So to get the president's support and to see it come to fruition was magic. And the one thing that I just realized that needed so much support that I'm happy to help and be supportive where I can um, was the re-entry of people coming home and seeing the lack of support that really existed, um, whether it's housing or the amount of letters that I get with people just needing transportation to job interviews, to jobs. These people want to work. They want the best outcome. And I'm so happy to be here today amongst people that want the same thing and that really believe in supporting um, their reentry. So I'm so happy to announce today that um, we have a, um, a ride share partnership where um, formerly incarcerated people will be gifted gift cards um, so that they can get rides to and from job interviews, to and from jobs, family members, and that is so important, so needed. And I just want to thank the president for really standing behind this issue and seeing the compassion that he's had for criminal justice um, has been really remarkable. So I just want to thank all of the organizations that are you know, partnering with everything that's going on and really being supportive because it really does mean a lot to so many people that I've had the pleasure to speak to. And I think the ultimate goal is everyone wants the community to be safe and the more opportunity we have and that they have and the support that we help give them, the safer everyone will be and the recidivism rate will be um, continue to just get lower. And so I'm just thankful to everyone here that's in support and so proud of this partnership with the Rideshare organization. So thank you. Thank you. 